Hi, I'm Simon from JoomlaSEO.net and I would like to show you how easy it is to uh, optimize the speed of your Joomla website. So the website we're going to look at is this one. It's installed from a quick installer package from Rocket Theme. They put all their extensions and modules and sliders in there, so it's quite heavy. Um, and first let's see how, web how fast this website is at this moment. So I'm going to use G2 metrics. There are more page speed insights, why slow, uh, pingdom is a popular one. Um, and they all uh, are pretty nice in, in giving you the results of how fast your website is. And also they're giving you insight in what could be the problem with uh, loading time of your website. So it's busy fetching the website, starting the analysis. Um, it's taking grades from PageSpeed and Wiselow. So PageSpeed is giving us 30% out of 100, Wiselow 68, and the speed of the website is 5.6 seconds. So let's uh, start optimizing this website. The there's only one thing I'm going to do. I am not going to do from within the Joomla core. That is the leverage browser caching feature, which is this bit of code that you can take from the Joomla SEO.net website. And it's going to tell the, the server and, uh, or your browser that all these images and files do not have to be downloaded again if you uh, come back to the website. So I'm going to paste it into the htaccess file with it, which is in the uh, in the root of your website um, I'm going to FTP it um, to the root of the website and now we are going to the back end of the website so first we are going to the global configuration settings and in there we go straight to the system setting and switch on uh, caching. This is the caching of the output of the comp of the components. Um, so it's going to give us some gain in speed, and especially big one is gzip compression. This can save you a lot of bandwidth because it's going to gzip the whole website. Okay, now save and close it, and we should be done over here. So now we're going to the plugin manager and look up. The system cache plugin. It's it's got only one parameter, and basically basically you should leave it. This is only useful for browsing within the same browser session, and it's also got some downside. So just enable the plugin and leave the parameter untouched. So so far we've done only a Joomla core uh, changes. So there's one more thing uh, I'm going to do, which is the JCH optimized plugin. It's a plugin that you will need to download and install. And once installed, it, you will find it in your plugin manager. Um, and you can enable it, go through the settings. Usually, I start with activating all the settings, uh, making sure all extensions are included. And in the pro version, you can even uh, activate all these options. I have made a separate video on it in my channel, so you can look at it if you want. But I'm going to leave it at this so far. Um, all this means that you really should look at how your website is looking after the optimization. Is everything still working? I'm, gonna not, I'm not going to look too deep into it, but on the first side, well, it still looks the same, so it should be fine. So let's see how fast the website is now if we go back to GT metrics. Look up the website and see how fast it is now. Hopefully we see a lot of improvement. Okay, two jobs, one job ahead. So the waiting for the analysis almost takes as much time as it took to optimize the whole website. So it's taking Y slow, taking page speed, data, generating a report. So let's see. Well, a lot of improvement. This was 30. It's now 69. Why slow uh, went from 68 to 92. And the loading time of the page, most importantly, is almost uh, made in half. So we see a lot of improvement. Our website is still working. And you see how easy it is to speed up your website quite a bit. Okay, so try it for yourself on your own website.
Thank you for watching. And if you need more tips, you can look them up on joomla-seo.net. Thank you for watching.